Men are such fools. That's it. Your shift is over. It's my turn. What happened? He's... he's dead. this proclamation what does it say now let's see this thing says to where has koga genosuke escaped we have the only other remaining koga kagero in our custody for the time being she will be interrogated to the breaking point and in two days she will be executed oh. executed hmm. if you are truly the leader of the koga as so many have claimed you to be then you will emerge from your cowardly hiding place to save this poor woman do you have the skills of a warrior and leader as you have professed? If so, then bring the scroll and come to us. We will gladly bind you like a hog the way we did Kagero and drag you both to Sunpu. Signed, Oboro of the Iga. What is this about, anyway? I don't know, but I saw this same sign posted in Kaneya yesterday afternoon. Who cares? Sounds like someone's pretty angry. He's forsaken you, Kagero. Hm. Don't you think? You actually caught me by surprise. I would never have thought that your sickly sweet breath was poison. 
I cannot speak for Obero, but I am almost impressed at how urgent and nasty this war has become. Were that not the case, I would have gladly spent a few more days sucking at your venomous breath and dying in your arms. <laughs> Why don't you just finish this? Just kill me. Of course that is the idea. But why rush the fun part? Give me a few more hours of enjoyment. And then tomorrow morning, I promise to grant you your wish. Stop! Tenzin, you must stop this! Even blind, you managed to climb all this way on your own. A feat that proves your worthiness of being a leader. Tenzin, you have to stop. It has gone too far. I can't take it. This torture cannot continue. Oborosama, I must express my renewed admiration for you. After all, using this Koga woman to lure Genosuke from the shadows was your idea. I could not have forged a better plan myself. <laughs> Lady Ofuku is just as impressed with you as I am. She says you are a true ninja leader. She is, however, surprised that such an innocent face could devise such a devious plan. <sighs> Tenzin, regardless of who she is, allowing her a quick death would be merciful. Merciful? We are trapped in a living hell. This woman may be our enemy, but she's human. You must show her compassion. Compassion? And mercy? I find it odd. I hear those words dripping from the mouths of warriors so much these days. But as for me, I have no concept of such useless things as these. I only know what I've always known. <laughs> Just altering the plan a bit. Kagero is special. She possesses the ability of a toxic breath during times of sexual arousal. We'll let her watch as we consummate our relationship. Then, when she is aroused and her breath turns lethal, you will use your mystic eye and strip her of her power. Tenzin! Let me go, please! When you're done, I will be able to take Kagero in any way I please, and I won't have to worry about dying again. No! I will never do such a thing. My eyes... Alvaro-sama, do you know how many days it has been since we left our village? The Iga are victors in this war. And tomorrow... You will walk with me into Sunpu as my wife, the way it was destined to no. be! No! Jensen, stop! Please! No! No!
Yakushiji Tenzin. He's here. You're alive. Why did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I alive? You should know the answer to that. <laughs> it's simple. I am alive so I can send you to hell myself. Genosuke-sama! <laughs> Oboro-sama, I am quite proud of you. This sad, blind Koga fell feet first right into the trap you set for him. <sighs> you have brought an end to this war for our people. This moment will be considered a great turning point in eager history. But, you must leave this final kill to me. Understanding that you were trained by Muroga Hyoma. However, without your dojitsu, you would lose even a battle with a falling tree in the forest. You're not holding together very well, Genosuke. If I were you, I would try begging for my life. Depending on how pathetic you are, I might consider dragging you only half-dead to Sunpu. Once our audience with retired Shogun Iyasu is complete, if you are still breathing, I would even consider allowing you to tag along with Oboro-sama and me as our servant. <laughs> you can never have too many. Oboro-sama. Just a while ago, you said you felt as if you were trapped inside of a living hell. If such a thing as hell truly exists, my knowledge of it surpasses yours. Hell is enduring the pain of death, only to be reborn. This limbo I suffer has the persistence of the rising sun, never a sign of salvation or deliverance into the next world. To me, that is hell!
mamá. This fight is over. You should see that. No, Tenzin. The time for last requests is past. Tell me. Why are you filled with such loathing? There was a time when the Iga were focused. They did not question their hatred toward the Koga. However, over time these feelings began to fade like a bad dream. The reason being, fewer and fewer of our people had personal experiences of this hatred. Then it was you. Was it not? You were the one so long ago who betrayed the Koga. It was near the end of the Tensho Wars, and you had formulated a plan. It was the perfect opportunity, and I had to take advantage. The Iga people were on the edge of annihilation. If the attack from the Oda had never happened, Subagakari would have been shackled by the relationship of Koga Danjo and Ogun-sama. Then Hattori Hanzo I had to step in. I must say that I didn't see this move coming. I had not one notion he would draw up the No Hostilities Pact between us. It was a simple miscalculation. I would not say that I manipulated them, no. I simply made sure that they would continue to hate each other for as long as they lived. The Iga and Koga will put an end to this rivalry, here and now! <laughs>